Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. There is this really cool infrastructure in Calgary and one of my favorite places to visit. It's the first time in Calgary's history that an active Elarchy line was encapsulated and used as a foundation for the building above, and it's none other than the Calgary Central Library. So the library reopened recently and I decided to pay it a visit. With the new restrictions in place right now, we had to stay under one hour due to reduced capacity. And the new restrictions also include no food and drinks bought inside the library. And you have to wear your mask at all times and sanitize before you leave the library. Once you enter the library, you will be marveled by the design inside the library it's so cool that it won the architecture award in 2020 and it also won the greatest places to visit by time in 2019. Once you enter inside the library, you can see that there are four levels inside this beautiful library. There's a welcome kiosk where you can view the current events that are taking place inside the library. And there is this table which consists of paperback books which you can either view them inside the library by the empty spaces provided or you can even take them home and that can be done for free using a library card which can also be done inside the library. Further down level 1, you will be seeing a small section which is built specially for children known as level 1M and it's based off Jocelyn Louise Anderson's Children's Library. This section consists of books for all ages and parents can actually bring their kids. They even have this small play zone session. Right now, the play zone is closed due to COVID. But regardless, you can still bring your kids and show them the books around. They're books for preschool kids to school going kids. And there's this small section for school age kids where they can explore their minds, question themselves in this questionarium where they challenge themselves and learn more about the world. The whole building consists of designs based on the indigenous cultures and it is very visible throughout the library. It makes it really beautiful and colorful to see First Nations culture being displayed inside the library. Moving up to level two is the section where it is based off local authors. You can even sit here as there are plenty of spaces and plenty of room for social distance. There's a book escalator in this level where it uses books to travel up and down every day from section one to section two and more than 1200 books travel through this book escalator which is pretty darn cool. Moving on to level three is where you will see that there are a lot of computers for you to browse and right now due to COVID they have limited the time up to one hour but you can browse and get your work done inside these computers and they also provide you free printing services. Level 3 also consists of a specific special place for teenagers where teenagers have the dedicated center just to study and once they are done studying and if they are feeling a little bit bored, they can actually play games. There is a small gaming session for teenagers to play games of the free games that are provided inside the library. But right now due to COVID, the gaming session is closed off now. But regardless, the teenagers have a small space just to themselves. It's a little bit more colorful than the rest of the library. And it's specifically made for teenagers to have their own specific designated space for studying. Level 3 also consists of newcomer services. So if you are new to Calgary and you are looking for places to build your resume or to even print your resume or to speak with someone on a one-on-one -on -one basis and to get some more help, you can do so by going to the newcomer services desk and they provide you a free 30 minute session where you can talk about your resume, how to nail interviews, how to rent and things like that. This section is also my favorite section for studying as I find the section really quiet and 
it does have a lot of space where you can just sit and use one whole table all to yourself or you can even use a cubicle just to study and it provides efficient study time especially for me you can also use the free laptops which are provided in level 3 you do need a library card to access all these services but library card is completely free and can be done within minutes inside the library but this is also pretty cool about the library is they allow you to use laptops and Wi-Fi and printing services all for free now before we go on to level 4 make sure to like my video and if you are new to my channel consider subscribing it really helps me and it really helps the channel to grow moving on to level four this section is the quietest section of the entire library you lose all the crowds when you move on to level three and level four and level four has this specific dedicated quiet reading space which is also known as the elders guardians circle and you can do quiet reading over here. In level four, you will also get to know more about the local indigenous culture. They have whole history about the First Nation, and you can even know more about Calgary's history 100 years ago, 200 years ago, and how Calgary was during those times, which is really cool to read and know more about Calgary's history, Alberta in general. You can even know about Canada, different provinces of Canada and it's really really cool to know about those history. Now this library is one of my favorite places to visit in Calgary and the reason being is it's so huge and it's so spacious. I really feel like I can have some alone time to myself when I visit this library and it really helps me concentrate when I'm trying to concentrate in my studies and when it is cold outside and I do require an indoor space the library is the place I visit the most as it helps me stay warm and it also gives me thing to do inside the library browse through all the different books and I love reading books as you can see from my bookshelf I do have quite the collection of over here which is only growing and the library is definitely a place to visit if you love books like me and if you love knowing more about history and culture explore the different sections of the library this library is a perfect place to visit and I'm sure you will fall in love with it once you visit this library so if you are ever in Calgary and you are looking for things to visit the central library should definitely be on your list it makes for awesome picture session read and browse through books and you can even look at a cool infrastructure which is rated as the greatest places to visit by times in 2019 so make sure you do give this library a visit while you are in calgary so once again don't forget to like my video and thanks for watching today guys Hope you all stay safe and hope to see you guys next time. Till then, bye.